All right, doing Elements of Claims and Defenses in Nevada by Day Williams, and I'm Day Williams. I'm a Nevada attorney. We're on Attachment, Procedure for Claiming Exempt Property. If you believe that the money or property taken from you is exempt or necessary for the support of you or your family, you must file with the clerk of the court on a form provided by the clerk a notarized affidavit claiming the exemption. A copy of the affidavit must be served upon the sheriff and the judgment creditor within eight days after notice of execution is mailed. The property must be returned to you within five days after you file the affidavit unless the judgment creditor files a motion for a hearing to determine the issue of exemption. If this happens, a hearing will be held to determine whether the property or money is exempt. The hearing must be held within 10 days after the motion for a hearing is filed. If you do not file the affidavit within the time specified, your property may be sold and the money given to the judgment creditor even if the property or money is exempt. If you receive this notice with a notice of hearing of, of a hearing for attachment and you believe that the money or property which would be taken from you by a writ of attachment is exempt or necessary for the support of you or your family, you are entitled to describe to the court at the hearing why you believe your property is exempt. You may also file a motion with the court for a discharge of the writ of attachment. You may make that motion any time before trial. A hearing will be held on that motion. If you do not file the motion before the trial, your property may be sold and the money given to the plaintiff, even if the property or money is exempt or necessary for the support of you or your family. NRS 31.050, Attachment of Shares of Stock, Debts Due Defendant, and Other Property provides as follows. Subject to the order for attachment and the provisions of NRS 78.746 in Chapter 104 of NRS, the right of shares which the defendant may have in the stock of any corporation or company, together with the interest and profits therein and all debts due such defendant and all other property in the state of such defendant not exempt from execution, may be attached, and if judgment be recovered, be sold to satisfy the judgment and execution. An interest in property subject to a conditional sale is an attachable interest. The interest of a vendee in property the subject of a conditional sale contract is an attachable interest under RL Section 5151C, NRS 31.050, and RL Section 5287CF. NRS 21.080 relating to property subject to attachment and execution. NRS 31.060 execution of rate of attachment manner in which property is to be attached provides as follows. Subject to the requirements of NRS 31.045 the sheriff to whom the writ is directed and delivered shall execute it without delay. And if the undertaking mentioned in NRS 31.040 is not given, as follows. 1. Real property must be attached by leaving a copy of the writ with the occupant of the property or, if there is no occupant, by posting a copy in a conspicuous place on the property and recording the writ together with a description of the property attached with a recorder of the county. 2. Personal property must be attached A by taking it into immediate custody and, if directed by the plaintiff, using the services of any company which operates a tow car as defined in NRS 706.131 or common motor carrier as defined in NRS 706.036 to transport it for storage in a warehouse or storage yard that is insured or bonded in an amount not less than the full value of the property. Or B by placing a keeper in charge of a going business where the property is located, with the plaintiff prepaying the expense of the keeper to the sheriff, during which period the defendant, by order of the court or the consent of the plaintiff, may continue to operate in the ordinary course of business at the defendant's own expense if all sales are for cash and the full proceeds are paid to the keeper for the purpose of the attachment. If the property is stored pursuant to paragraph A, the property must be segregated from other property and marked by signs or other appropriate means indicating that it is in the custody of the sheriff. 3. Any mobile home, as defined in NRS 40.215, must be attached by A, posting a copy of the writ in a conspicuous place on the mobile home, B, taking it into immediate custody subject to the provisions of subsection 2, or C, 
placing a keeper in charge of the mobile home for two days with the plaintiff prepaying the expense of the keeper to the sheriff, one, during which period the defendant may continue to occupy the mobile home, and two, after which period the sheriff shall take the mobile home into the sheriff's immediate custody subject to the provisions of subsection 2 unless other disposition is made by the court or the parties to the action. 4. Debts and credits due or to become due and other personal property in the possession or under the control of persons other than the defendant must be attached by service of a writ of garnishment as provided in NRS 31.240 to 31.460 inclusive. Evidence that a sheriff, in executing a writ of attachment, rounded up and counted certain cattle, kept them together for three quarters of an hour and in his sight for several hours, and refused to permit the claimant to take them away until an undertaking was given to secure their release, was sufficient to sustain the finding that the sheriff took and maintained possession of the cattle. The attaching officer is to retain and assert power and control over the property. Under RL section 5152C NRS 31.060 relating to the execution of a writ of attachment, the custody required of the attaching officer should be such as to enable the officer to retain and assert his power and control over the property in order that it cannot be withdrawn or taken by another without his knowing it. There must be actual taking of possession required for certain property. Under NCL section 8708C NRS 31.060, which relates to the manner in which property is to be attached, in order to constitute a levy under a writ of attachment upon personal property capable of manual delivery, there must be actual taking of possession of the property. Where a sheriff left bulky machinery, which was the subject of an attachment in the debtor's equipment yard, but examined the machinery, recorded the serial and identification numbers, placed a seal on the machinery, and told the debtor not to use it, and the debtor did not use it, the attachment lien continued in force between the debtor and creditor, even though the sheriff permitted the attached property to remain in the debtor's possession when NRS 31.060 requires a sheriff to take personal property into immediate possession upon the execution of a writ of attachment. A writ of attachment of real property must be recorded. 